Hello, I'm Martin Fenska and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Battle Brothers. So at the end of the previous episode we arrived to the desert once again, to the hub. I didn't really find anything interesting there, so off camera I left the city, did some exploring here. Unfortunately I had to leave a little bit of fog behind because uh, at some point I've been spotted by a group of Ifrids. Uh, we definitely don't want to fight those at this point, so I just uh, had to run away from them. As I was running, I spotted some nomads. Uh, only seven of them, really weak group, so not even worth our attention, really. But nearby, I also found this uh, ruin, and I'm hoping that uh, the nomads spawned here. Uh, the tracks are not connected, but... I mean, there is a chance. Uh, I know that there are tracks leaving the ruins on this side, but I can't think of um, like anything that would leave the animal tracks behind and would also have a garrison inside. I mean, there might be a tiny chance for Ifrit's being inside, but I don't remember ever finding if reads inside of a location if it wasn't a part of a contract so i'm kind of curious what's inside <clears throat> there's also a pretty high chance we'll just find some undead but at this point we might even be able to fight like skeletons are there a problem not really, unless we run into some crazy combination of uh, other guards and, and legionaries with pikes supported by ghosts, necromancer, and I don't know, uh, vampire. <clears throat> there are, of course, like so many, um, especially during the crisis, so many like combinations that would be deadly. Uh, but I think there are also quite a few at this point that we can handle. And yeah, I'm curious what's inside. Like, this is confusing me. So, we'll find out. I'm going in to fight, so I don't want to reload. But also, partially, like, if I find something totally unexpected that I won't be able to handle, I, I would just reload and take it as, um, like, learning, basically. Um, I don't know, it really looks like something left that left that um, uh, is leaving tracks like this behind. But what the hell would it be? Maybe actually, how are they called? Uh, Nasiris? Could that be? But I don't think I've ever seen Nasiris in the desert, in the, especially in this type of location. Well, uh, let's just jump in, we'll see what we find. And then we decide what we do next. But definitely the goal is uh, not to reload. I want to want to fight. And even if we run into some undead, I will try to fight. Okay, so that's not undead. That is... That is annoying. That's what it is. The Blade Dancer. Then we have an Executioner here. And probably a leader, surprisingly, with a good weapon. Uh, we, that's also an Executioner. Really garbage helmet. And the armor is okay-ish, but the helmet is definitely crap. How many? 12. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. So we can see all of them. What is the plan here? Uh, taunt this guy, kill him with uh, choke, and probably keep the other guy stunned and just do something about him. Uh, no idea what we're gonna do with the blade dancer though. Wait, wait, wait. You'll just react to their movement. Come on, move forward. Good. Kill him. There we go. That's a good start. Wait. I think what I'm gonna try is to kill all of this, uh, like support the the cutthroats and um, outlaws. 
that would leave just these three alive. And hopefully, at that point, the dancer just uh, just runs away. Because I have a bad feeling that our chance to hit, at least for our melee brothers, will be like 10%. And we have those two executioners that are like super high priority. Okay, so how do we do this? Move forward. Okay, now we have the taunt here. One, two, three, four. You move aside. I need to get um, at least this guy. And probably stay there. Hunt. What I could do, I could taunt him. Um, the wavering morale might be a problem. I can't move forward. You are what? You are outlaw. You are cutthroat. So let's go after the cutthroats first. Two, three, four. Okay, this is not too bad. At least, like, I mean, the, the positioning at this point. Wait, wait. So, you should go down. Uh, that's unfortunate, but it's not too bad. It, th this injury, I think doesn't really do anything that's fine come on finish him off yes now finish him off or not oh, stay there wait Oh, if this guy ends up here, that would be great. Start punching. Nope. Nope, 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 and that's bad. Come on. Okay, what I... Oh, I don't have... Um, damn it. I don't have... Um, knockback? Let's get rid of the shield. Um, okay, that works. Shield wall... Should have been dead. Oh, great! So, what is my chance to go uh, straight for the uh, for the choke? Seventy-nine. Thinking of uh, how much stamina is there? Only eight. Oh, that was a, a fail. Okay, that 
that's good. That's really good. Nice, 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 nice. The morale is uh, already wavering. You can go there. Fail horribly. I can't send you forward, right? That's a recipe for disaster. But with morale this low, we might actually be able to do something. Yeah, exhausted. Come on. This guy is a problem. Somehow we managed to hit 20%. Come on, die. Um, just in case, by some miracle. He recovers. Then you are attacking here. Well, that was nice. Did he panic? No. 30%. Come on. In that case, we kind of need to hit the stun. Excellent. Seems that we can just kill him instead of letting him run. No, first get there. Excellent. <laughs> I mean, definitely want to run them down or run him down. How much damage did he take? A little bit here. Zombies. Uh, probably should kill him quickly, because zombies are about to start spawning, I'd say. Don't care about the stun anymore. Come on, guys. guys probably two stabs. Should be... Three stabs. Excellent. No zombies this time. Um, what did we get? Fifteen thousand supplies is nice. Um, here, I'm quite interested in the reinforced male shirt. So I'm glad we got that one. The helmet. Again, I will have to go through uh, all of the pieces of camera. But what is important is that we got both the maces. I'm not sure that we need both, but I'm glad that we got them because uh, it's another two-handed weapon that we can now eventually build around and don't have to buy it. And we definitely want to have like one or two people with two-handed maces, that's for sure. Good. I would call this a success. 
So I still don't know what this is, but I definitely didn't come from the from the ruin. That is many serpents. Do we want to attack? Yeah, we do want to attack many serpents. And that is Fallen Hero. There's some necrosavants. Okay, some necrosavants sounds nasty. But we should be able to catch the snakes and fight them without dragging the undead into the fight. Just doing this for crafting materials, of course, and well, experience, of course. Come on. So if I activate the spear wall, all that's gonna happen, they'll drag Martha forward. What we can do is return favor and move forward. I'm quite curious what the snakes are gonna do about that. And also, uh, I'm curious if return favor disappears if uh, we get dragged to the, to the middle. But I don't think so. And that could be a great tool to uh, like counter their fighting style. Okay, here, this should be pretty easy with 90 defense. Abel should be almost immune to them. Uh, Weimar? I'm not sure about Weimar. I mean, eventually I want him to join the fight, but we have to be careful. Same here. But I think we can just... Oops, that was a wrong, uh, wrong ability. Damn it. Okay, let's see what happens. It didn't disappear. And the stun works. Great. That's what I wanted. We don't have a single decent target. So if I move like this... Okay, whatever. As long as we hit something. Wait... I really like this ability against snakes. What's going on, guys? Uh, I mean, this is an easy find, but only as long as we actually hit them from time to time.
Okay, now we are finally getting somewhere. Oh, I apologize for that, but it should end like 3, 2, 1. There we go. Decent damage for a staff somehow. Okay, and wow, that's pretty good loot from ten snakes. It's definitely more than I would expect. Okay, now we just need to run away from the undead. Explore the rest <clears throat> of the desert here. I don't. Oh, that's 20 hyenas. Hmm. Hmm. I wouldn't mind getting the furs from them, but 20, especially if it's uh, uh, frenzied ones, that's a lot. Yeah, we can't say if it's frenzied or not. I, I don't think I want to risk it. Because if that was um, even half of them, if it was 10 frenzied hyenas, they can attack, I think, four times every turn if they are starting. Oh, hey. If they are starting uh, in melee range, and every attack, um, every attack activates um, overwhelm. So if there are ten frenzied hyenas, that's forty stacks of overwhelm, which means we won't ever hit anything. While the normal hyenas are like destroying our archers, so. Oof. That sounds really ugly. Uh, set up a camp. Let's do some repairs, some salvaging. Don't need that, 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 that. Uh, we can drop this as well. This is useless at this point. I actually decided to keep this super heavy armor set. At some point I will repair it. I'm not sure if you'll ever use it, but I, I just decided to keep it just in case. Oops, I knew they're they're around. But again, we should be able to kill the nomads before the undead uh, can join the fight, and then we just run away. What the hell is this? Is it like that there are three, what is it, cutthroats, all of them? And then there are three leaders sitting behind them? And what? Oh, that's, um, okay, I wasn't sure what this icon was, but it's the potion. 84, let's go. Uh, for some reason the game started lagging here. Hmm, that's unfortunate. I guess I'll just make a cut after this fight. Or go to the to the city, check if there are any recruits, and then we'll make a cut. 
So what are we interested in here? This guy. Come on. Okay, you can handle him for sure. They can be stunned, right? Two, three, four. I hope that if I kill this guy, that the leaders won't uh, start trying it. Wait. Okay, that's what we want. Good. Wait. That's okay. We keep him taunted. Kill this one, please. I'm not even sure that I want to try to stab this one. This one doesn't have a shield, so that might be fine, but the one with the shield that could take a long time. I do you have a dagger? Nope. Do you have a dagger? Yes. I could try to destroy the shield, but uh, Ragana doesn't have the perks uh, for shield damage, so this could take like five turns. Basically, that's not happening. Ah, uh, wait. Oh, nice. Unexpected. You know what, this guy doesn't really have anything interesting. I'll just go after him right away. 59, 38. Let's do that. Two, three. Uh, you'll help down here. Oh, right. Yeah, I actually want you where you are. Okay, one down. Come on. There we go.
Did it proc nine lives? How much damage can we do with the dagger? That's not too bad. But I don't think we can end the fight here. Which means... We'll probably have more zombies to fight. Well, maybe not. There we go. Okay, finally a level up, at least one. Um, so this set is untouched. That's good. That's the one that had the scimitar, right? The two-handed scimitar. Because we killed him without ever stunning him. We just kept him taunted and we kept stabbing and, uh, and choking him. The other one... I'm not sure which one had this set. And the third set is gone. So I guess this is the one with the shield. But I don't... Uh, did we stun him? I'm actually not sure. Eh, ah, whatever. I'm not even sure if this is useless. It's really heavy. We could maybe combine some parts with with this. Well, definitely we need a better base for this one. Okay, I'm gonna return just because I can. Leaving this tiny patches of fog is just annoying. I don't know. I just hate it. So whenever I can, I'll just get rid of them. This is gonna be getting on my nerves for, for a long time. Okay, what is this? Soldiers or nomads? You gain a loot. Hmm. Uh, they are still quite far away. During the day, maybe I would check them out. But in the night, we would have to get like right on top of them. Actually find out what it is. Who are you? Conscript. Uh, right, those are the uh, the militiamen of the desert. You are a nomad and you are a dervish. Please have a lot of resolve. Okay. So I guess the next time we get like a um, sword, he's gonna have all of the resolve in the world. Look at that! Look at that! Can I please get frontliners like this one day maybe? No, every time I get this combination of stats or, or this plus stamina or something like 
perfect for the front line. It's either a hunter or a dervish. Come on. Okay, let's check this guy because this guy has all of the resolve. No. Uh, he's still completely useless. Okay, let's check the shops. Let's check the quest or contracts. Let's check the prices. Just got a ring or here two. That's nice. That's decent price. So I think we can sell. Um, isn't that an upgrade? That's, a, that's actually a tier 1 spear, so that should be an upgrade over the Militia Glaive. 35, 40, 25, 90. Yeah, it is slightly better. It's insane how good the Militia Glaive is. Considering how early you can get it, you can get it like well, as one of the first weapons, and it's comparable to Fighting Spear, which is a tier 1 spear. You don't get better spears than this. But at this point, this is a small upgrade. How are we doing food wise? I'm not repairing that. That's about to spoil. I want to keep some of the garbage items for uh, for salvaging. 281 for tools and supplies. I think I'm willing to pay that. Let's buy, what, two stacks? Now we are looking for another Jester's hat. That's not here. We can buy some rice. And we are done here. Okay, let's visit um, El Hadet as well, so that we are done with the desert. Next time we are heading north, and we will stay north for a while. Um, okay, so it was um, a group of soldiers after all. Oops, what? are we looking at here? Necrobouncer, Necrosavant. Uh, seven Lindworms, that's a problem. Can they just like fight each other? No. We could do this one I think. You'll have to play hide and seek with the Lindworms for a while but yeah I think we want to do this one. Don't care. Alchemist, let's see. Nothing here. 
armor. What the hell is this? The the settling. Wow, nice. The numbers are not bad. 154.7 sounds pretty good. It's expensive as hell, though. And, uh, well, it looks cool. Uh, it looks like a barbarian design. I usually don't like those, but this one looks interesting. I'm just not sure if um, there is a set that you could build around this. I can't think about anything that would fit this design. Maybe some some of the barbarian items, but they are usually garbage. Of course, I'm not not buying it. Just I didn't know about this design at all. Plus, it's even good with these numbers. So maybe one day we'll try to create a set that would look cool around this one. And then, oh, whip. Uh, do we have a cleaver master? I don't think so. But I'm going to buy the whip. It's be Maybe I just wasn't paying attention, so I didn't see it. But I don't think that we have seen many whips. So I want to have one in the inventory. And we should get um, a cleaver master, or rather, like whip master, because whip is going to be the primary weapon uh, to get more crowd control. Or it could be like half and half. It could be uh, quick hands cleaver, maybe even two handed cleaver, whip, and just um, use the weapon that better fits the situation. Okay, so that's done. That's done. Marketplace. Uh, there is Jester's hat. I want the Jester's hat for. Where are you? For Martha. We can drop the straw hat. Because now we have the combination of taunt, spear wall, and return favor. Come on, this is a Kion. I don't have room for Kion. Oh, that's a cell sword. Please be good. Fear of undead. Eagle eyes. Minus 10 resolve and battle with undead. Um. What are your masteries? One handed swords, two handed swords, crossbows, firearms, spears, flail mastery. Oh, yeah. Bow, sling, peaceful, a shield. Then you have brony, you have berserk. Please tell me you have killing frenzy. Nope. But that's a perk we can play without. Battleforged. Why do you have Battleforged and Nimble? We have Headhunter. Do we try to build some kind of a dualist Headhunter with a Flail? What do you think, guys? How does that sound? Oh, I think we have um, some garbage shield uh, perks. Also, uh, do we have um, Colossus? Yes, Colossus with... Uh, what's the other one? Muscularity. It is there. 
We won't get that much out of it because we will have to invest into stamina. But at least a little bit. Even small damage increase with the flail uh, is pretty noticeable. Now, fingers crossed that we don't get some garbage rolls. Because this guy was quite expensive. 65, 9, 82, 60. 33 resolve is really bad. Like, like super bad. Uh, with um, the fear of undead, this is a disaster. Do you have something that will help? No. Uh... There's always a problem with something. But it's just against undead, so against the more difficult, or for the more difficult undead fights, we could just move her to reserve later. I'm not sure if there is a way how to drop uh, fear of something, I think. I might have seen some events. I'm not sure though. Okay. Well, 9 starting defense is nice. Uh, 65 is great. 82 is... Oh, it's not really 82, right? It is... It is 103, which is average, let's say. Might as well use it. It's 10 points for nothing. Why the hell does a cell sword have peaceable? Oh, we have skillful stacking and um, efficient packing. That's nice. So stamina can be solved through that. I'll probably have to download the the build planner uh, add-on. How high can we get with the numbers? Uh, melee skill 85 to 95? Really? That low? Right, we don't have gifted. Always when I see someone like this, I'm so like positive. And then when I look at the details with every detail, like not having gifted or not give, having killing frenzy, things like that. With every detail like that, I'm like more and more disappointed. But we can work without killing frenzy. Without uh, fortified mind and gifted, that's going to be worse. But that, that means that we can invest into, let's say, the stamina here and um, um, get the points just by investing uh like with level ups right into into resolve so there is a solution <clears throat> question is do we have enough perk points for everything two three four five six yeah i think we do seven uh the the crucial perks for the build that i want to go with that's like eight points so it should be fine Great, so we have a new new recruit. I will do like the gearing and everything off camera for a while. She will be completely useless because I will just hit, give her heavy gear, make sure she doesn't die, and she might become useful around like level seven or something. 
Uh, how are we doing renown wise? Because we need 1800. We are at 1734, so we are getting close. Because we still need room for the surgeon and for another another ranged person. Pavel, that's something for the future. We are done with this episode. I hope that you liked it. I hope that you're going to join me next time again. And until then, have a good time. Bye-bye.